Hi guys, come on, here. Welcome to the F1 2013 crew match today. We'll be doing the Belgian Grand Prix qualifying. Um, we we are in the second half of this 2013 crew match season two. We are staying at Ferrari, just so you know, if you wanted to know what happened with that contract at Red Bull. Well, I'm staying at Ferrari, so... Yeah. I rejected the offer, because the vote won, the Ferrari won the vote. So here we are in Spa for the Belgian Grand Prix. As we always are, unless you're in Zolda in the 80s. But anyway, <coughs> coming in the car, I've once again got Spittles with me in co-commentary. Hello, guys. And, um, uh, here we are, so it's, uh, it looks like a chance of rain, but I'm not sure if we'll come in the session. It says there's a chance of rain, but, uh, see what happens, shall we? Um, so there's the team at Challenge, we're obviously not, we're only equal on podiums at the moment. Go on options, so, um, mediums here. And here we go out on track now. So hopefully combined YouTuber can out qualify his teammate once again. Yeah, because as, as you saw it sort of in Bahrain, in Bahrain, Hungary. <laughs> Bahrain. <laughs> the little glitch from Spills there already. And we're coming out on track now. Out of the pit lane. Here we go, coming out of the track. Coming out can of the track. Can you serve in your time? Serving your tire wear on the outlap is important. Because at this track you have such high tire wear, so you need to conserve your tire and stick the best possible grip out of them. Yes, as you can see as you can probably see in a few minutes, I warm up my tires here. See there you go, yeah? No until they come. Take you very slowly. Just to save my tires. I guess. Into Bruxelles. Very steadily. <laughs> and on every corner, you don't want to just throw yourself onto the curb because some curbs do you send you flying out wide. Yeah. Rolanda, uh, he'll send some marbles and have some tire wear. Which is not good. Anyway, hitting the curbs. And that curve, that combined YouTuber almost fell on top. You don't want to go through the top of that because it sends you flying out wide and it ruins the next round for your coil. Well, it actually sends you on two wheels, I think. I don't know. I have no idea what happens. I've never hit that curb a bit, a lot. So. Anyway, coming through Blanchimont. Uh, onto Richmond now because we're going to start the lap. Here we go into Blanchimont. Onto the grass a little bit there. And, uh, that, that won't help. That won't help. Now into the bus stop. The final chicane now. And oh, it's a good apex. No, we got wider the apex there, so that could cost money. No, that's not. That's not. That's not what you want when you when you're starting your lap. So here we go, coming along the straight, coming starting our lap one. into turn one, breaking at first gear. Take it very well there. Coming down to the straight, down to the spectacular Eau Rouge corner, possibly the greatest corner in F1 history. Flat out, uphill, seventh gear. F it is a great corner indeed. Coming onto the Kemmel Straight DRS. Half the cars used already. The speed 320. Into they come into the this corner, really Yep. Into they come taking the apexes beautifully. Coming into um this corner uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it is. Into Bruxelles now. Missing the apex quite a lot, but uh, it's still a good apex. Now coming into the corner with no name, that's a well, very, then. very creative name. Coming into Puon, trying not to hit the curb on the inside here, which I almost did there. Now hit the curb on the outside, coming into the chicane. Yeah. This, this, you want to try to take as much of that curb as you can, but one YouTube is going to wider down so he can set himself up for the next corner and get a better exit. Yep, coming on to the, now down towards Blanchimont, at the exit of Stavolo now, coming on to Blanchimont, which is another very fast corner, flat out, double left-hander, there's a car ahead of him, hopefully it doesn't block him, 
Rosberg on provisional pole at the moment with a 150.558. And there's a Toro Rosso Jean Eric Verne there, just ahead of, Jean uh, of us. And uh, we really did not do the best for our chicane there. And we crossed the line. And 49 hundredths. That's really close there. That's well, provi that, is, that is great. And the Taurus is blocking there. Just not what you want. But combine YouTube, um, he's think he's going to go on this lap to, in case that is, was his fastest lap. Whoa, look at that replay. That was awesome, wasn't it? Look at this. It's good. Look it's this. good the Taurus left some... It's good the Taurus left a tiny bit of space on the inside. Yeah, practicing for the race, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Practicing overtaking for the race. Just hopefully uh, that's provisional pole. Remember, it's provisional. It's not actual pole. <laughs> um. You don't know. Someone could go faster. Yeah, and 150. My time at the moment is actually pretty bad. Oh God, we. How close did we get to Jean Vern? I just had to let him through through a rouge. And we return to the garage. Because why would I do two laps in the same set of tyres? No one does that. Unless you're me no. in unless you're me in um Force India, but anyway. Yeah. It's so a very good qualifying session combined YouTuber already. So there you go. In the top so you got Vettel. Vettel. Already. Yeah, Vettel has taken provisional pole, so he, he, yes, there you go. So he has dropped down. And um, uh, the guys haven't said time. Mark Webber, Fernando Alonso, Porto Resto, Charles Pick, and the two, and Vandergaard and Shilson, I think. But then Perez, Perez fourth, Sorry. Hulkenberg, Grosjean. Yeah, let's change tyres. So we'll combine YouTuber in proof on this next set of tyres, and will he go slower and be behind Vettel? Let's see what happens. So Hogberg, then Grosjean, Raikkonen. A thi yeah, Grosjean, Raikkonen, Maldonado eighth at the moment, then Ricardo. Yeah, and then I now fast forwarded. Now drop down to fifth because Rosberg and Weber have improved, and we've dropped down two positions. This is not good. So combined YouTuber is going to have to do a bang, a banger off a lap if he wants to try and get pole again. Yeah. Because, because I'm good. Because I am good at Spa, so. Here you go, coming in now into Blanchimont. Richness. And he's going to come, he's come, come into the bus that she came soon. Just getting that very well to set himself up. He's going up into Richmond, breaking down into the bus stop chicane. Is he not? Is he gonna go wide this time? No, he's he's actually gonna get a good apex, and he's got a good exit as well. He's gonna come up to turn one. He's using most of his curves. He's gonna come into turn one, nice and clean here, shifting down to first, missing the apex there, but then he'll get a better exit from there, and then we're gonna go up a route soon as a, a great corner in F1, as on YouTube said. Uh, going up a route now, getting a very good apex there. Hugging that apex as well. Now, you just want to try to get as much speed as you can before breaking. And if you don't want to break too late, otherwise it will ruin your lap. Yeah, so into Lake Kong now. We missed the apex on there, so we are 6,700 down at the moment. So 67,000 actually. Coming into Brox Hills. We're only down, by only just down at the moment, so let's hope we can improve in this second sector coming through the no-name corner beautifully there with four minutes to go in the session coming into Puon. Puon's a funny name <laughs> um yeah coming into Puon we not touch oh just got one tire on the curb there but getting a very good exit we'll combine youtube and mr curb to get a good run yes he is he's going to try and get a better run through that corner there just touching a little bit of the apex and he's going to come He's coming for the last corner. It's very crap the apex sector. there. Yeah, coming into the penultimate sector, the last sector of the lap, and you just need to keep very fast through this corner and not let go of the accelerator. And four tenths down. Coming, four tenths down. Could combine you two by gain a tenth through the bus option chicane. He's going to go down to first gear, miss the first apex, just touch a little bit of the second apex. Try to get good exit, but he's gone on top of the curve there. Well, combined YouTuber again. Combined YouTuber has got P6. He's not going to improve. 
no combo and that's a very well, combine you should push as much as you could but they're just too fast for him today yeah that's, that's a shame good. because i'm actually good at spa um yeah i actually did improve i did a 49.9 .9, but it wasn't enough to improve on p6 so that was a interesting very interesting the ai are faster than me around spa which is actually one of my best tracks so very interesting indeed but um, Fernando Alonso has outqualified combined YouTube bar once again. Yeah, unfortunately. So that we, yeah. But combined YouTube is always the one to get back in the race. Yeah, the race. He's very aggressive in the race. So yeah, I'm pretty aggressive in the race. Not going to joke about that. You've dropped down the order. We're <coughs> there we go. Coming into the garage. Obviously, we won't go out again. Well, because will combine you should drop any places because he had Button just behind him. But we don't know if Button will improve or not. But but combine you should could keep his sixth. Button was behind me. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I think I think he was. If it's if it's not, I'm blind. I don't know. So Vessel has provisional pole at the moment. Fernando Alonso is second. Lewis Hamilton is third. Um, I think Rosberg's fourth. Because I can see a German flag there. And uh, you have Weber in 5th, me in 6th, Reichen in 7th, Button 8th, Perez 9th, and Hulkenberg completing the top 10. Uh, actually, Reichen has beaten Button to it for 7th there. Fernando Alonso is 2nd, behind Sebastian Vettel, and Lewis Hamilton rounds up the podium positions in qualifying. And that's the end of the qualifying! Where we have Sebastian. End of qualifying. And Sebastian Vettel is on pole position for the Grand Prix. The first time he's on pole since Germany. Um, from Lewis Hamilton, who's pipped Fernando Alonso for second. Then it's Alonso third. Mar uh, Nico Rosberg in fourth. Mark Webber fifth. It's me in sixth. Then Kimi Raikkonen, Jensen oh. Button, Sergio Perez, Nico Hulkenberg, Ronan Grosjean, Paul de Resta in twelfth. Roman Grosjean was out qualified by the Sauber. Hulkenberg, yeah. There's Deresta, Maldonado, yeah. Ricardo, Bottas, Vern, Gutierrez, Pick, Bianchi, Pick, Chilton, Van der Garden, Adrian Sutil is last. Very interesting there. So I think Spills is just uh, muted. So hope you enjoyed the Belgian Grand Prix qualifying. We have a force in here down at the back of the grid. So I don't know what happened to Adrian Sutil there. But uh, we are disappointed with P6 in our qualifying. By the way, Spittles, uh, Adrian Siddle qualified last. Yeah, Combine you, combine you was, he, was expecting him to finish fourth or above, but it was just an unlucky day for Combine YouTuber. But will Combine YouTuber get a podium in the race and fight back for the lead, maybe? You will see. So I hope you enjoyed the Belgian Grand Prix qualifying. We qualified in a disappointing sixth place, but we'll fight back strolling in the race for sure. And see you guys on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye. Bye.